in college, went to photo school, and she got out way before I did. This is our time. I wanna drive. And open road. Can we go out tonight? And if it goes, let's make a monument for our love. This first week in LA has been just like all over the place trying to unpack and get used to everything. Um, so this week I figured I would show you guys what's in my camera bag. I'm excited to show you guys all this because I'm kind of like a like a gear head in a sense. First off, I've been collecting this gear for years. The preface before I even say this is it doesn't matter what gear you have. It's all about what you're trying to make, what the content is, what the story is. So please before... I go way into this, don't be like, oh my god, I need all this gear to shoot these same photos. You don't. Okay, so I use an in-case backpack that opens from the back. This guy has been all over the world with me. So my first camera that I use the most is my Canon 5D Mark III. Yep, this is the 24 to 105. I bought this when I started working with a fashion blogger. He gave me a, the ability to change quicker instead of using primes. I love primes the most. But this has kind of lately been my go-to for traveling or kind of doing running gun shoots because it's a little quicker. It doesn't open up that much. It only goes to F4, but I still love it. I have the backup body, which is the Mark II. I made this thing last somehow five years. I don't know how that was possible, but it's still going. So my favorite lens of all time is my 35mm F1.4 from Canon. Uh, I got this from a buddy who lives in Seattle. I bought it off him and this thing is beautiful. So I would use this to shoot lifestyle. It gives you a little more room. This thing is a workhorse. I've beaten it so much and it's definitely got rained on a couple times but this thing is solid. This little guy is a Pelican, tiny little Pelican case that I keep all my batteries in. We got chargers, charger, Oh, so this thing. So this little guy I heard about from a friend is a Yi camera. It's made with a Sony sensor. Call me out if I'm wrong. But it does 1080p at 60 frames per second. And this is what I'll mount to the top of my camera when I'm shooting for you guys to be able to see. These are only $80. Like you could get five of these for the same cost as a GoPro. So go with this. I love this thing. It's a workhorse. You know, I got the little Pelican card case. I have a ton of different brand cards. I don't really use one. Uh, I have this flash. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. I busted this at a shoot a while ago, so I just ordered a new one. Um, but this guy is definitely, they're not super expensive, but they get the job done, especially if you wanna do some, some hard flash kind of work um, on top of the camera. That's really good for fashion. I got the film. I got Kodak 400TX black and white film medium format. So the things that aren't in my bag that I do use a lot still is a lacy drive. These are the rugged, the rugged drives. These things I've dropped a couple times, which you know, you're not supposed to, but yeah. The other thing too that I take is my iPad that has my portfolio on it. Eventually I want to do a print portfolio, but for now, I do it electronically like this. I just think it's a great way to show people and people have responded really well to it. So definitely having an iPad to show your portfolio is a smart move. Let me know what you have in your camera bag and we can compare notes. My first week in LA is done. Peace.